Springfield School presents an animation project on the Paralympics. Hosting your show tonight, a basketball legend, Addy Aid Batan. Hello, welcome to the Paralympics 2012. I am Addy Aid Batan, and tonight I'll be talking about the Paralympics and we will be meeting some of the British team who will be participating in this year's games. I will be talking to the team's toughest and most terrifying member. You've guessed it, it's our very own judo champion, Simon Jackson. Simon Jackson, who I'm sure some of you remember, won the final of the 92 Barcelona Paralympics in just five seconds. Let's catch up with Simon now. Hi Simon, you seem to be a little tied up over there. I'm not the one who is a bit tied up. I think it's John over here. <gasps> so Simon, what is it about judo you really enjoy? Well, I think it's a good sport to let out aggression. A lot of people think it's a violent sport, but actually, actually it's not. It is very safe. I mean, some things are dangerous, but other sports have dangers, so it doesn't matter. Have you ever had any serious injuries? A few scratches and bruises, but not big injuries. Interesting. How confident are you that the British team will bag a gold medal? Well, hopefully we will. There are some good teams we are we have going to verse, but if we do our best, we may get a medal. OK, great. Thanks a lot, Simon. It's OK. Ready for the next round, John? Now, let's go over to talk to swimmer Charles Long, who has decided to come out of retirement for the 100 meter butterfly. Hi, Eddie, how's it going? Fine, thanks. So, it's very exciting to have you back. What made you choose a butterfly? Some people would say it's the hardest stroke around. Well, everyone was discouraging me, so I just thought I'd prove them wrong. On coming out of retirement, that's a quite a major decision. Yes, it is, but swimming is in my blood. Since I started as a non-disabled swimmer, I see a real parallel between the Olympics and Paralympics and how serious and competitive it is, and I just love it. Thank you, Giles Long, for the intriguing interview. We all wish you luck in your race. Next up, we have Nicola Tustain, who has won 23 medals competing in dressage. So, Nicola, you've had quite a difficult start to life. Yes, I was bullied at school, but when I was on a horse, I could do things other people couldn't. Yes, you sure showed them. I guess so. It has been exciting, but if you've been number one, then the hardest part is staying there. Well, let's hope you still go on to win even more medals this year. I'll do my best, Daddy. Now, featuring a new addition to our team, this will be his debut for the Paralympics. It's the one and only George Branson. How are you feeling right now? I believe... Your first game is just three days away. I'm feeling quite excited, nervous and impatient. When did you first discover your talent for javelin? When I was about three years old, my father took me to a sports club and I discovered I was good at throwing sticks. So eventually I tried using a javelin and I've been throwing, training to perfect my skills ever since. Good luck and thank you. No, thank you. Now let's look to our future potential Paralympians. Let's meet Peter Scott. Hi there, Peter. We had a glimpse of your extraordinary footwork just then. Thanks. I'm really just excited that I've been given the chance to train for the Paralympics and I won't let B B Britain down. Glad to hear it. Well, I plan on scoring eight goals in every match. That's quite an ambition. Well, my coach tells me that it's better to aim high. <laughs> Indeed. We'll eagerly follow your progress on the pitch. Later, dude. Don't try it. Well, this sums up the great energy leading to the 2012 Paralympics. We hope to see there and support the Great Britain team. Good night, everybody.